Hey there everyone, Ben here, your favourite critic with some piping hot roll tea to spill guys, so buckle up, we're diving deep into the financial mess that Harry and Meghan have got themselves into, that's right, word on the street, is that the Duke and Duchess might be in some serious money trouble, can you believe it? But first, the usual drill guys, smash the subscribe button, crank the notification bell to 11, so without wasting any time, let's get down to business here guys, so now picture this. Our favourite ex-royals are living it up in their Montecito mansion, rubbing elbows with Oprah and Ellen, thinking they're hot stuff, but behind the scenes and perfectly manufactured hedges and fancy gates, there's a storm brewing. And let me tell you, it's not just any storm, it's a Category 5 financial hurricane ready to blow down their house of cards. Now I know what you're thinking. They're royals, they're loaded. Well, my friends, even royals can burn through cash faster than you can say Netflix deal. And that's exactly what Harry and Meghan seem to be doing. Now, let's start with that mansion of theirs. We're talking about a $14 million property or 11 million pound for my UK viewers. That's not just a house, that's a small country's GDP. Maintaining a place like that, well, it's like trying to keep the Titanic afloat after it hit the iceberg. Now, some have said, experts, that say he's managing a mansion like this, basically like running a small boutique hotel. You only need a small army to keep the place running. We're talking 10 to 15 staff members, chefs, gardeners, security, housekeepers, probably someone whose sole job is just to polish Megan's tiara collection. And the bills, oh boy, the bills were well, looking at utility costs that would make your eyes water, renovation and repair costs that could fund a small space program. All in all, reports suggest they're shelling out about four million a year just to keep the lights on and the grass trimmed for a million dollars. That's not taking into account Meghan's designer wardrobe and Harry's polo ponies, all their private jet habits. Now, you might be thinking, but Ben, they've got those big Netflix and Spotify deals. Well, about that. Remember that Spotify deal that was supposed to be their golden ticket? Gone, vanished faster than Harry's hair. That's $20 million down the drain and rumours are swirling. Now, Netflix might be next to jump ship. There goes another $100 million. So where's the money coming from? It's like watching a really expensive game of Jenga. And we're all just waiting to see which block brings the whole thing crashing down. But here's the kicker, folks. While they're hemorrhaging money faster than a trust fund kid in Vegas, Meghan and Harry are still trying to keep up appearances. They're living like billionaires on a millionaire's budget. It's like watching someone try to fill a swimming pool with a teacup. Entertaining, but ultimately futile. I mean, Meghan shows up at a children's hospital wearing an outfit that costs more than some people's annual salary. We're talking $3,000 for an outfit. I don't know about you, but I think if I were visiting sick kids, I'd maybe tone down the designer labels. But what do I know? I'm just a humble critic, not a duchess. Now let's talk about the latest venture, American Riviera Orchard. Sounds fancy, doesn't it? It's like something you'd find at the Whole Foods if Whole Foods was run by the Queen. But here's the thing. They launched the brand with all the fanfare and royal wedding. Where's the product? It's like that they forgot the most important part of starting a business. Have something to sell. Oh, wait, I forgot they did have some jam to their celebrity friends to give away for free because nothing says we're just like you by like sending artisanal preserves. And rumor has it, when this jam finally hits the market, it's going to cost $250 a jar for jam. I don't know about you, but I'll stick to my humble smuckers. Thank you very much. But let's get real for a second. While we're all having a good laugh at this, the financial troubles, there's a darker side of the story. And I'm not just talking about the colour of Harry's mood when he checks their bank balance. We're living in a world where people are struggling to put food on the table, where families are having to choose between heating their homes and feeding their kids, where the cost of living is skyrocketing faster than one of Elon Musk's rockets. In the middle of all this, we've got Harry and Meghan crying poor because they might not be able to afford their ridiculous mansion anymore. Talk about tone deaf. So what do you guys think about the news? Let us know in the comments. We'll see you next time.